I would think a popular thing to do in these halogen infrared convection ovens would be to bake a chicken. So I have in here a whole chicken. I have onions and garlic, some lemons, some white wine, chicken stock, salt, pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and cook this in here. Typically in a regular oven I would do it for about an hour and 15 minutes at 425. I'm going to maybe try about an hour and see what happens. Um, I will be checking it periodically before then. And also halfway through we are going to turn the chicken over. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the extension ring and put on the uh, unit and we're going to get started. So I'm going to go ahead, I have it set for 425 and I'm going to turn the timer around to an hour and get it going. And we'll check it about maybe about 25 minutes and uh, see if we want to turn it over or not. See you then. I'm actually just about to turn this over to the other side, but I wanted to show you just how beautifully it is coming along on that uh, back side there. Our chicken's been cooking for about an hour, and if you could just smell this, it just smells delicious. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is use my thermometer here to test the chicken, and I want to take it out when it's about 160. So I'm going to put it in the thickest part of the bird, the thickest muscle, which is generally the thigh here. And we're going to go ahead and let it read. And I'll bring this over here so you can see. And it's moving on up. I like to take it out about 165 because it's going to continue to cook when it rests. And I like my chicken about 170. So by the time it's rested, it usually goes anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees while resting. So, oh, there it goes pretty close. Yep, we're going to make it. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out to rest and then I'm going to work on the gravy. The gravy's cooking and we're going to go ahead and have a look at our chicken which has been resting and it just looks delicious. It's got a nice crispy crust. Came out really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit of it and get some of that gravy on there and we're going to have a taste. So here's a plated chicken breast. I sliced it and put it on the plate with a little bit of gravy and I did taste it. It's tender and moist and it's very flavorful. My overall impression is that it did an okay job in the um, uh, Big Boss oilless fryer. It did take the full hour and 15 minutes, which is what it would have taken in my big oven. Uh, I would try it again with a few different sort of little tweaks and kind of check a few things out before I really um, think that this did a better job than my oven so far it was pretty much even I did clean up pretty well so I'll give you a look at that I did run the uh, thaw site or the cleaning wash cycle on there and when it was done I just sponged the side a little bit so it did clean up pretty well and um, I'm gonna go eat this chicken <laughs>